All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Colcast here on Tour Playoffs Losers Bracket Finals. One of these two teams going to go home with third place. The other going to meet up versus Q Squad 357 in the grand finals. Who's it going to be? Lions up 1 0, just one game away. TT Esports needs two in a row. I am super excited for this match. And Sania, let's take a look at the game that's already going down. A lot of damage coming out there. <laughs> Trying to keep the camera on this middle lane. There's the hook coming in. The zeal stun is there. Luna in some trouble. The decay is there as well. Luna turns around with the emerald lightning. The chuck. But seal kid gets the last hit. Well done right there. The power of Devo. And he's full mana again. Yeah, oh, Wretched Hag is going to die down here. The Roots coming in from Japans. Expect to see Fun Spice just saying Roots much because double Root right there. Very strong. Flens keeping to himself. Not going to be one of the vocal players when something like that happens. But Japans with the RNG Roots getting the kill on Wretched Hag. Wild Soul is actually in a little bit of trouble right now. The Haunt going to be applied. Mentor gets first hit Root though. Not going to be able to close the distance. As the Minotaur is still way back there, the root lasts forever on creeps, and the Wild Soul is going to be able to escape because of that root on the Minotaur that prevented the stun. They're coming over, but Diva with the hook, going to grab the hook right here on the Tempest. Special Blast goes out, there's the heal, the Storm Cloud is there as well. As Tempest going to go the other direction, I like this decision, trying to lead them away from Demented Shaman, knowing that the hasted Diva might have been able to get a double tap. Very well. Seal Kid, in, or uh, Super KG in some trouble right here. The Chuck going to be coming in. Elemental Void is available. There it is. The Elemental Star there. Leon Black snipes the kill with the power throw, bringing home the 230 gold bounty. Yep. Very nice down there. Trial from middle hit level 6. Got his ultimate. Ran in middle. Got a kill. And I am looking forward to seeing him go back to farming. They're kind of playing four versus five. But well, with Jeffins getting them off this, this early. Five players here. Uh, is hook going to be going out? Great hook! Devour and down goes Demented Shaman. That's the power that in four at Devo that you were talking about. And that kill right there nets them a free second tower. Might have gotten the kill. Is the Devourer going to be used right here by Super KGE? He's got the rod on, taking a lot of damage himself. Gets the invis and does have to back off. Goes for the hook right here. Oh, just before getting sent home. Ophelia needs to run away as well as keep in the forest. The minion's going to be sacrificed at least a little bit there. There's the root. That's, a, of course, a 10-second root on that bear or something like that. The 4 TP coming on in. Super KGE is there. There's the auto attacks as well as the decay onto Aluna. He's going for Aluna in the background. The 4 going to hit the ground hard right here. The root going to be used as there's the elemental void on the three oh, players. Big elemental void by Trout. A lot of damage going out, but they're going to turn this around. The Devourer going to be used there on the Pebbles, and Pebbles is going to go down to the decay. Gets the chuck off at the last second. The hook is available here. The Keeper of the Forest gets the invis off onto Devo, and... Super KGE holds the Gutling hook for now. Take oh, hook slip. comes in right here. Look for the TP support there. Going all out on Devo. Backblast get a connect under two. There's the Sonar Scream doing some damage to Pebbles. Ophelia Heal keeping everybody topped off. Their target right now is Pebbles. With Root possibly going to come in here from Keeper of the Forest. Pebbles trying to turn it around, but he is going to go down to Wretched Hag right now. And there's the hook. Not going to connect, but Pebbles will die. What? Oh. Oh my god, he's going to get away, and Moravis gets out of there, beautifully well played by Moravis, gets the juke, gets the portal key, and the TP out, I have absolutely no clue, man, that, I was insane. It slaps, you know, Pebble's Lord ability, so yeah, yeah. I don't think a lot of players know, but it actually reduces the debuff duration. Be careful, the Entangle going to be coming out. There's the Invis, no combo from Pebbles. The Portal Key now is down. The, the Consume used right there. The Devourer used, and now they have to back off once again. Super KGE missing out, and there's the Cutling Hook on the Wild, so not the target he was looking for. Decay is there. There's the Slagmites coming in. Super KGE pretty tanky. Zeal's still going to hit, too. They're abandoning him. No, he gets sent back to town. TP's going to be going out now. And Nymphora going to try to bring him back up once more. There's the TP back in. They're going on to a feeling. Four-man Bat Blast coming in right there. There's the Solar Scream. The damage going to be able to finish off Leon Black. Three-man uh, Zeal stun right there. Nymphora going to be able to help out. Gets the kill. And Wild Soul and Pebbles now trying to get away. The, the Solar Scream going to be going out. 
There's the Gutling Hook finishing off the Wild Soul. Pebble's gonna fall as well, and now it's a four for one trade. Ophelia sacrificing her life as the Lions Esports Club is looking dominant over TT Esports. Sports, though. Nymphora, if she ports up, they're going to go on to keep her the force. Where's Nymphora? Watch for her to port. Wretched Hag going to be taxied up to the top lane. Devourer comes out, and there's Tempest taking a lot of damage. Elemental Void comes in. The red power throw is there as well. Hag going to come in. Back blast under three players. Tempest going to go down. Keeper the force staying alive. Going to get rooted right here. Keeper goes down. There's the Zeal stun. Going to connect it. Kill Demented Shaman. Wild Soul going to try to man up. 1v3. Wretched Hag going to blink backward. They're going to turn around and man up. Nymphora going to go down right here, most likely, as she's being sent no, not being sent back. Just going to get killed. Big group going to be coming in. The hook there really saving them for the zeal stun and seeing them for a well executed once again by the Lions. And they turned that around. Super KG getting stun locked by Devo. There's the combo on the Nymphora as the Ophelia Hill going to be going out here. Devo going to get the consume. That blast going to connect on the three right there. There's the root on the five players. The auto attack damage is going in. Elemental Void turning around catching three right here. Wild Soul putting out the damage. Richard Hag going to go down. Tempest going to fall as well. Wild Soul still doing the damage. Able to get the kill on the Demented Chum right here. There's the first hit root on the Keeper of the Forest. Zeal Stun going to try to finish off Wild Soul though. He's getting a lot of damage done to him. Devourer taking some as well but he's so damn tanky. Wild Soul getting turned around on right here. Here, Wild Soul is going to go not down. Ophelia going to be trying to close the distance. There's the haste and picked up by Nymphora. She's going to go for the cutoff right here. Not going to find it. Wild Soul, how the hell did he just escape? Uh, that was very, very nice play. Uh, I love how he, as soon as he got up on the high ground, he shifted to his normal form. And I'm not sure if everybody knows this, but in his normal form, he's actually a lot faster than he is in his ultimate form. There's the Invis. Zeal Stun going to connect onto Moravis. And where's the Gutling Hook perhaps coming in? Moravis going deep right here, finding Ophelia. The Power Throw going to be coming up. Devourer going to be used on Dimension Shaman in the backfield. The Amber Lightning going to break that one up. Bevel's in some trouble. The Auto Tech damage could be able to finish him off, and he will go down. Devourer looking for another hook. There's the Root going to be coming in. Wild so taking a lot of damage. Zeal Stun going to connect as well. So he's going to go down. There's the Hook on the Dimension Shaman. The Heal Wave going to be going off as well as the After Wave. That Dimension Shaman getting walked down by the Auto Techs. And Dimension Shaman going to escape for right now. Combo going to be coming in on Dimension to, uh, to devour as Pebbles comes back with a buyback. He's going to go down for a second time. Demented Shaman did manage to get away, but now Tempest in a little bit of trouble. No portal key available on him. Just the Ghost Marcher. Dredged Hag using the Flash of Darkness to try to close the distance. And now Keeper the Forest Drilling just going to walk straight on up. There's the Glacial Blast. The Haunt going to be applied with the Sonar Skin. The Hellflower is there. The Auto Attack. Zeal Stun and down goes Tralfamador. Three for nothing exchange. Plus the buyback there on Moravis and a second death and Hag. Oh, there's the Nymphora TP going to be coming in as well. This is a dead Demented Shaman. There is actually uh, Devourer going to be getting in there. They're looking for another kill over here. Zeal Stun not going to connect. Tempest trying to turn around. Has to be careful. They're going to ditch Nymphora. The Bound Eye needs to be killed right here by Nymph. There's the first hit root. Nymph goes down to the power throw. Wild Soul going to recover the Bound Eye as it uh, looks like Dimension Shaman is here. Elemental Void going to be coming in though from Tempest catching two. Hag wants to set up a big Bat Blast and he's going to find the Bat Blast on the three. There's the heal going to be coming out. The root is there as well. Tempest going to go down. Pebble's going to go down as well. Wild Soul with the Bound Eye going to be running down. Keeper of the Forest. But the double tap for Super KGE. He's looking for more. There's the consume and the uh, Emerald Lightning going to interrupt that one. Wretched Hag going hard. The Haunt going to be applied. Getting the slow once more. Super KGE has another hook here. Looking for the hook. Looking for the hook. Will he find it? There it is! And Super KGE brings home the kill on the Wild Soul. The Rack's now going to be attacked here. Is the defensive tower going to be going down? And Insania Alliance Esports Club on their way, perhaps, to meeting QSQ in the Grand Finals of the Haunt Tour Playoffs. Uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the coordination of the team is absolutely amazing. It's very fun to watch. There it is. Yeah, and the GG's come out. GG well played. TT Esports chooses to tap out, and Lions Esports Club takes the victory 2-0 over the TT Esports team, advancing into the grand finals to face Q-Squad 357 and make their way in. One of these two European teams going to be making it to Vegas.